Hey what's up everyone, Nick here. Welcome to this Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, we're going to be talking about Nighttime Factory and how Nighttime Factory can be an absolutely phenomenal way for you to gather a ton of very, very nice loot, for you to make lots and lots of rubles, to kill scavs, to get better at your gunplay and to make an incredible amount of XP, all with very, very little risk. If you're new to Tarkov, Factory is one of the main maps for PvP. Usually if you want to find quick PvP, Factory is your best bet, where you get like 5 to 6 other PMCs spawning in, it's a small map, close quarters combat, and you tend to be able to find a fight within the first 10 to 30 seconds max. So it's a very fast paced map. But what we're going to be talking about here is what it's like to go into Factory at night time. And the way Factory works is there's a, a, a fixed daytime and a fixed nighttime. Unlike the other maps where it's like a day-night cycle where you might spawn in, um, you know, at dawn or you might spawn in at sunset, that kind of thing, where it can be a bit of both. With Factory, it's fixed. It's either day or it's pitch black nighttime. And previously with Factory, the nighttime cycle used to be um, completely pitch black. But in the most recent update to Factory where they added the expansion, it's become a little bit brighter. There are some areas with quite bright lights. And because of that, I think now you can more than ever get away with having just like a torch on your gun, which opens up new opportunities. You don't need to have NVGs. I think previously, and I didn't have a huge amount of experience, but previously in Factory, if you didn't have um, any kind of torch or NVGs, you would spawn in and you literally just couldn't see a thing. Now, I don't know if there was maybe a way around it, but I think for the most part, it was near impossible to play Factory at night without having some kind of torch or NVGs. And even with a torch, it would be a challenge. But now with the lights, I think it's actually quite viable to play at night time. There are challenges, and we're going to talk about that, but it can be very lucrative, and it can also be very fun. And I'm going to run through some of the reasons why that is, and hopefully by the end of this video, you're going to have um, some ideas on how to have a bit of fun at night on Factory and potentially capitalise on some cool stuff. For me, my experience of playing Nighttime Factory really began towards the end of this wipe, the wipe that we're on just now. And we all know that right now we're, we're just about to head into a new wipe cycle with the upcoming Lighthouse edition and various other cool stuff. But right now, you know, a lot of people are just playing Tarkov. They love the game, like me, and they're thinking, how can we enjoy this game in new ways, things that we've not tried, and just try and have a bit of fun with it. So my idea was to get um, NVG'd and, you know, get, get geared up to the max, go in like a a kind of member of a SWAT team and go into factory and get into some high-end PvP. And my thoughts were, you know, there's going to be other people doing the same thing and it's, it's I'm probably going to die quite fast or maybe I'll get a couple of kills, who knows, and have a bit of fun against other geared up players. It's got to a point at the wipe where, you know, money's not really a, an issue. So let's give it a try. So what that's what I did and, and I did find that when I went in with the NVGs, I did get into a couple of fights um, and had a bit of fun, fought a geared guy, killed him. Um, and he was doing the insomnia quest, which is kind of quite a far on quest where you have to kill PMCs at night. So I had a bit of fun. But what I realized was, you know, I could actually do this um, during the night and just take in a torch. And what I was finding was there's a lot of kind of other people that are just messing about or trying to get quests done or, you know, low level players and things like that. Um, and I thought, you know something, you don't need to be geared to the, the teeth here and you're not getting into a lot of PvP encounters every single time. You know, sometimes you're just going in and you've got the whole factory to yourself. Sometimes you go in with maybe one or two other uh, PMCs and they get their tasks done and leave and you've got the whole factory to yourself or quite a few times what I saw was the other PMCs got killed by scavs and then you've got the whole factory to yourself or I would kill the PMCs or whatever, you know, so there was... Um, a lot of things that I didn't expect to see at Nighttime Factory I saw. So that was kind of awesome. Um, and I realized, okay, there's some fun to be had here. So what are some of the benefits of playing at Factory at night? Well, you've got lots and lots of scavs to, to, to play around with, um, which obviously carry loot and you can kill scavs and you know have a, have a bit of fun doing that and, and getting lots of juicy loot off the scavs. You also get access to one of the, the main bosses in the game, Tigilla. Um, you'll get to fight him whenever he shows up and if you've got factory to yourself, you've got Tigilla to yourself and you've got a chance to, to capitalise on that. He carries lots of high-end loot 
um, level six armor rig, you've got his helmet, you've got really high end ammo, like usually a high end gun, lots of cool stuff on him and obviously big XP for, for getting him as well and, and a good bit of fun. Um, there's loot scattered around the map, there's some high end loot, there's some um, various bits and pieces that you can get. Now, one of the cool things is you get a lot of XP in Factory. If you spend like 15 to 20 minutes um, destroying scavs in Factory, maybe get to Gila, you can actually walk away with 10, 15k, 20k in XP, which is um, at the moment not a huge thing, but I'm just thinking, you know, for the upcoming wipe could be quite, quite useful. Um, and another thing not to be overlooked is playing at night with a torch, it's like playing a horror sim you know it's actually quite especially at first when you're not used to it it can be quite scary and quite atmospheric and quite cool and um, there's there's definitely jump scares to be had and especially when you first spawn in you don't know if you're the only person that spawned in you could be spawning in there with um you know one or two um other pmcs and they're just being very quiet and waiting for you to kind of make the wrong move before they, they get you or you could be doing the same to them so the, there's this kind of tension that, that builds right from the very start of the raid. Um, and as you start to get through the raid, you know, maybe when you get to the midway point, you start to feel a bit more comfortable. You know, you've been fighting scavs and you've you've not encountered the PMC, so it's not so bad. But even the scavs can be quite horrifying <laughs> at night time, you know, because they can lurk in the shadows, they can rotate, they can do all these cool things now with the recent updates to the scav behaviours. And they can actually be quite a handful, so that's something to bear in mind. Ways to tackle Factory at night, there's a few different ways you can go about it. You can go full on SWAT team loadout with your um, mutant uh, meta build with NVGs etc etc and just go in and just search and destroy. You might find PMCs, you, you'll be able to wipe the floor with scavs and, and have a good bit of fun and make some really really good profit. And you know most of the time you won't encounter PMCs that are doing that, you know I would say um, half the time you won't see any PMCs when you do see them. A lot of the time they're, they're just kind of lightly geared so if you go in fully geared up with NVGs you're likely going to do really well. Um, so there's that as an option but kind of maybe gets a little bit boring after a while. Another way to do it is you go in lightly geared you know with like a rat rig and a, a gun with a torch um, you know, and that, that'll give you really good survivability. What I've started doing for fun is going in naked with just a shotgun torch and doing the whole zero to hero thing. And that's actually a lot of fun. Going in and doing zero to hero, you have to find a backpack, you have to find a rig. You, at first, you have to be careful because these scavs, there's a lot of shotgun scavs in there, Mosin scavs, and some of them are just pure aimbots. You know, they will destroy you if you've got no armor. So you really have to be careful of that, as well as keeping your mind on the fact that there could be some PMCs in there with you as well. And there you are naked with a shotgun. So you really have to be careful. And it's fun just gradually building yourself up from being naked with just a shotgun to finding a, some kind of armor, to finding some kind of um, backpack and, and all that sort of stuff. And you can snowball over various raids. You know, you can start off doing the first raid. Once you get a little bit of gear, you go back in again and, you know, build up to having like the, the best scav loadout you can, you know, where you've got the the level five armor that they have, you know, the, the kind of uh, pilgrim backpack, the... Um, you know, all the, the cool stuff and, you know, just making a load of money. At the same time, you're also building up your skills. If you're newish to Tarkov, there's a lot of uh, skill gain to be had, you know, in terms of like the gunplay and uh, the angles and, and just kind of keeping yourself safe and playing the sound and all that sort of stuff. So, a lot of fun to be had. Um, if you go in as a snowball and you go in as zero to hero it, there's very little risk, you know, okay, you might lose... Um, the shotgun and the torch, but that's okay, you know, you'll be able to, to replace that quite easily and the, the runs that you have that are successful will more than make up for that. And all the while you're gaining XP, you're gaining experience, you're, you're gaining knowledge of the map and you're getting a little bit better at your aiming and um, and moving about in the map and, and understanding how to do that better and more efficiently and playing the sound. So there's a lot of good stuff there and if you really don't want any risk, you go in as a scav. Um, you might not have a torch, but you go in as a scav, zero risk but you'll find similar reward because, um, again, at the end of the day, there's, there's often no PMCs on this map when you go in. So if there's no PMCs, all the loot's just there waiting for you. And as a scav, you've got the same opportunity to capitalize. And if you go in as a scav, you'll find that quite often you'll go in early raid because there's not any PMCs in there and you, you get thrown into the map and it's, it's all yours for the taking. So what I'm wondering is, is this gonna be a good 
early to midwife strategy? Maybe some of you that are watching this video can answer in the comments and tell me, is this a strategy that might work early to midwife or is it going to be busy? Is there going to be loads of people with the same idea? Are people with NVGs going to be pushing an early wipe? You know, as soon as they've got a bit of cash and got the flea market, are they going to be pushing? Who knows? But I think maybe, just maybe, very early wipe, going in as a scav to factory at night or even taking your PMC in with like a, a gratch and a torch on the gratch might be a very good strategy to get lots of XP and start to build up your um, your, your weaponry and your armor and things like that and start to make some good money. So maybe it is, maybe it isn't, but I'll tell you what, it's a lot of fun right now. It's like being in a horror sim, It's like a, a, especially when you go in solo, it's a horror game. It's dark, it's atmospheric, the scavs are dangerous and the lurking PMCs are, are even more dangerous. So um, I'd really recommend, if you've not tried it, give it a shot, see how you enjoy it. Um, and I would love to know what your experience of it is. Please leave a comment below. Let me know if you've uh, been a fan of Nighttime Factory or maybe you're going to try it now. And after seeing this video and seeing some of the, the clips playing just now, uh, maybe you're enticed to give it a go. And if you do, I would love to know how you got on. So do drop a comment and I will respond back to every single comment personally because I think that's uh, a good way to communicate with everyone. That's just about it for this video. Thanks so much for checking it out. I really appreciate it. If you haven't already, consider giving us a subscribe for more content like this and other cool stuff in the future. Thanks a lot. This is Nick signing off. I'll see you next time. Peace. Hey guys, Nick here. Just a quick thing to mention, before I was able to upload this to YouTube, I was literally had my finger hovering over the upload button and BSG announced that they've got their pre-wipe event starting right now. So just be careful when you go into factory, it may look slightly different to the way it has done for the last few weeks for me, where it's been very quiet. You may see other scav bosses in there other than Tegilla, which may be a little bit more difficult, especially if you're going at night. So just be aware, be aware that there's a pre-wipe event happening, but all the information you've got from this video is still good and I hope you put it to good use now and at the start of the brand new wipe, which is less than seven days away. How exciting! We'll see you there. Enjoy. Talk soon. Bye-bye.